Omar Figueroa calls himself the wheel man. <laughs> and, um, you know, Adrian Broner responded, saying on his Instagram post, that I will stop your B-I-T-C-H ass. And um, it's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the Boston Clinic. Sounds like the opponent has legit been chose. Broner's going to target Figueroa. Figueroa's going to target Broner. And now to build the fight up is started. And Broner doesn't even have, shouldn't even have the kahunas right now to still have that persona or that character of the can man, you know, or the problem, or A, B, about billions. He's none of that no more. He's just Adrian Broner from Cincinnati, Ohio. And people from Cincinnati probably only want to let you know he's from Cincinnati. You know, after that performance versus Mikey Garcia, that weak performance, after several other weak performances he put on in perfect matchmaking to get him to the titles that he got today, you know, without Al Heyman, you know, this guy wouldn't even make it to this level. You know, I, I honestly remember Ponce De Leon putting it on him and getting he got a gift decision versus that guy. Then they put him versus that Vincent, you know, guy we never heard of. Rodriguez guy got his title. You know, he was very, he was, the, he's indicative and the poster boy for perfect matchmaking. Now, I'm not saying that he was ever scared to fight anybody, which he drifted off the blueprint and fought Porter, Madonna, and got whooped, and Mikey Garcia. But, um, you know, he, he, he shouldn't be so confident. He, he should be at the point where, you know what, I'm going to do everything right this camp. I'm going to keep it on the cool. I'm going to keep it quiet. I'm going to train a, a you know, silent killer. And then I'm going to come up and show up. You know, him and Omar Figueroa could have met years ago. Omar Figueroa was his mandatory at 135. He was an interim WBC champion when he fought the uh, the Asian guy. But it was a total war at 35. And uh, Broner chose to jump up two weight classes and fought, fight Pali Mananaji. So they made him the regular WBC champion. You know, people will bring up the Jerry Beaumontes fights, the Burns fight, the DeMarco fight I think he had. And he hadn't looked good. But that's why he took the time off. And people could say, well, Robert Guerrero was a perfect match for him. And, and Robert Guerrero was damaged good. Nobody had ever done Robert Guerrero the way that, that Omar Figueroa treated him. He treated him like a $2 stepchild, you know. And that showed me why Al Heyman invested into Omar Figueroa having those fights in South Texas and all that stuff. It's because Omar Figueroa can fight. He beat Earl Spence. He even called out Earl Spence today and said he'll love that fight. Omar Figueroa is them cra is a crazy Mexican guy with a good chin, a lot of power, and a lot of willpower. Like he said, he the wheel man. You know, it's gonna take a lot to knock that boy out and make him quit. He got a dynamic chin and dynamic power. Now we didn't always see that power because he had hand issues, and I think he was just trying to work through it. He said in the Burns fight he had a fractured hand. He was trying to work through it. But um, you know, he took time off, let his hands heal. And, and guys like him and Gary Russell, guys that throw reckless abandonment, Russell in a do totally different way, with just throwing a lot of speed punches and, and don't really harness your, your, your punches and really, you know, put them on point. You just throw them with reckless abandonment. Ten more not, times than not to hurt their hands. But and if, Bron if Omar Figueroa was totally healthy and that was the case where the health of his hands wasn't on cue and on point, and they are now, he's going to... He gonna be Adrian Broner. Now I can see Broner winning this fight, but the the just the style matchup, you know, if he can hurt Omar Figueroa, which is this is a guy that fought at 154 pounds, I didn't even know about, and and they can fight at 140, and, and if, if Figueroa can take Broner's punch, which is Broner is a sharp puncher at 140, he ain't the puncher he was at 35 and 30, but he's a sharp a sharp puncher. But if he can take them punches, Figueroa is gonna 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 run. You know, Broner out of that arena. You know, he's able to close the distance on Broner, and Broner does what he did versus Mikey Garcia. Omar's gonna cut the ring on him and make that boy quit. You know, and I think is I think I think his volume is just too much. He he's he's a tough Mexican man, but a real real Texas Mexican style. You know, that's that Broner. This is this is a dangerous fight for Broner. A lot of people look at uh. Figueroa as easy pickings, and they seen all the past fights, but I seen a dramatic change in him with the Robert Guerrero fight. I seen a guy that's healthy, that's fresh, and that's that's ready to go. You know, it's the only people that jump back on that AB bandwagon. They gonna get that man in black, red light amnesia. You know, they gonna forget the Mikey Garcia fight. They're like, what about the Khabib fight? What about the Granados fight? Look, he squeaked by Granados about two or three points, I believe. I think more of two points when I scored it on. 
Figueroa, I know disrespect to Adrian Granados, which I will respect him, but Figueroa is a totally different type of animal. He's a better puncher than, than uh, Granados. He brings that same type of tenacity, but tougher. And Broner said he'd beat his butt. So, you know, if Broner loses this fight, man, it been over with for him, for me. You know, I've been stopped believing in him. But he loses this fight, man, in a shape and fashion I believe he can lose this fight in. I think he will not. The way he get ran out the ring, I think he legitimately is going to retire if Omar Figueroa is able to execute his game plan like he wants to. Now, if Omar Figueroa it loses and Broner wins, then they're going to spin it for the Broner and Khan fight or spin it. He's ready for a world championship fight some type of way. So this is, you know, this is basically the winner of this becomes, you know, you know, Al's guy in 140 and potentially can match up with anybody else. So basically this is a, you know, it's an important fight for both guys. And um, I think, um, I think neither guy has room for error, you know, equally. And I know you'd be like, oh, Omar Figueroa is undefeated and all that. I understand that. But I think the loser of this fight is just just there to be a stepping stone. I know Broner is using it as a stepping stone in this fight. Well, he got a chance at redemption. But I got I don't believe it till I see it. I got Figueroa right now. Stoppage. No more Adrian Broner. We gone.